hyenas. Khalistat must be inside. Treaded many dunes to find you. Hide if you must, Hyena. But this tomb will not protect you. I demand that you stop here. Turn back now and I will excuse this intrusion. Siwa was an intrusion. man i am iset possessor of magic the gods live here not you what sort of mischief is she entertaining
right in. From the old kingdom. This trap door. What is it protecting? Heathen! The wakeful one is asleep! Go no further, or I will drench these arid plains with your blood! What is this place? A tomb beneath a tomb. Is this where you hide, hyena?
gruesome madness happened here? A dark place with a window to the gods. What kind of ritual is she performing? Offerings to Osiris, protector of the dead. Hmm. Alisa drew these symbols here. Was she trying to figure out their meaning? Still warm. And the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. And this sarcophagus is decorated with goddesses of the mother. Strange symbols are marked all over it. I think I know what Dark Deeds Haliset was after here. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. Once she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Alicet must be trying to bring someone back to life. But just who is buried down here? Retransmission, segment three. Acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 95 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. You must be wondering why I have reached out to you. It was written, you see, that you would come to this particular chamber at this very moment in time. The walls told us of your coming when we once were. Look at them. Are they not fascinating? One of your... Look of your... These walls tell of a tragic story. A story we transcribed on our structures, on our artifacts. A story we could not alter. A mystery defying this in plain sight. We tried. Our scholars and scientists, poets and physicists, bright minds, rebellious hearts. They all tried so hard to bring about change. They, we all failed. None could change what we discovered, the stories written into the walls of these rooms. By whom, we never knew. We know they tell of the future that is, the future that was, and the future that is yet to come. The Zeros? We failed at modifying the line. We failed at adding a single dot. It was clear we were to be messengers at best. But messengers to whom? To you. We removed our ability to read those stories from your original template. A doorway that is also a puzzle. We must find the solution. Those were Brutus's words when he visited the vault under the Colosseum more than 2,000 years ago. He drew the vault, sketched it to the best of his abilities, but he could not see. Just as you are blind, you may read your watch, you may read hourglasses and calendars, but you cannot grasp beyond that simplistic surface. For now, the true reading of time still escapes you. And so today, the curtains pulled and the eros is shown, tragic and complete. Those walls you might never read. Events yet unfold as written. But something, anything must change. You do not understand what is at stake. 
The reader has no power. He is but an observer. But the author? The author invents the future. The author owns the future. A future where zeros are avoided. A future where a loved one can be revived by the drafting of a new chapter. A future where humankind is more than it is today. A future where, just perhaps, we can all still exist together. Child. My child! You lost your child. I haven't. Her rest is temporary. You have intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the Order. Ravaged this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. And meet me, coward! Now I will show you what happens to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb.
protect me from this defiler. I have come only for you, hyena. The gods need not be involved. You have infringed upon me. You are in pursuit of the impossible, Halicet. No measure of magic can bring our children back. My child will come back through the powers of those who came before. Only the gods came before. Some came between the gods and us. It is their fear. Do I walk among the dead now? A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? These symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion! She walks alone in the field of reeds. Am I to remain in the Duat forever? I just want my daughter back! Daughter in the afterlife, Halicet. May the Lord of the Duat guide you. <laughs> 